Steve, now, I could be wrong, but as I understand it, um, there's an offer on the table to uh, the RMT of 14.4% for the lowest workers and 9.2% for the highest workers. Um, and they've been uh, the uh, membership have been asked to vote on this with a decision coming out at midday tomorrow. If that is the case, why do we still have so many rail strikes hanging over our heads? Well, the, the offer that's actually been put on the table is over two years. That's the first thing. So it's it's not anywhere near the figures that you're describing. What it is, it's 5% uh, sorry, 5% uh, for last year and 4% plus a, a, a bonus of £750 going forward. So over the past two years, if you look at it, inflation's been 11.5% um, last year. It's still currently over 10% this year. So that would mean a real terms pay cut of over 11%. Um, and I would urge all our MT members to vote this deal down. It's a rotten deal. It's been stitched up by a load of bureaucrats who are not going to uh, be worried about their pay rise. They're going to get a pay rise. And I, I, I ask people to reject that. It's a real terms pay cut. It's not what you went out for. And it's going to be paid for in jobs and the smashing up of your terms and conditions. Steve, these strikes have been going on since last summer. You are, I think, by everything that I re read online, losing now the support of the general public where this is concerned. What do you want? Because it has to come to a conclusion at some point. Well, I mean, look, um, there's there's £42 billion out there in it, avoided and evaded taxes. There's plenty of war, uh, money to, to have a war in the Ukraine. Billions of pounds are being sent over there. We've just seen a budget that's cut corporations taxes uh, by billions of pounds so there's money enough to pay every public sector worker and in fact we can't have a situation where working class people are year on year more impoverished while the small elite in the society get wealthier and wealthier it's just not on it's not a good economic model and something's got to change and i think what's got to change is people have to get at least uh, an inflation pay deal at, at, at no cost that are terms and conditions and not through selling jobs i mean that to me is is the starting point but I, I know Mick Lynch has said that he's not prepared to accept job, job losses. He's not going to have an attack on pensions or changing in working conditions. But you know, as well as the general public now know, because this has been made public on so many occasions, that the railways are actually losing money. They have to modernise. And there is going to come a point, surely, where there is going to have to be a compromise. The, the reason why the railways are losing money is that Billions of pounds every year getting pumped straight into the private sector, into the pockets of shareholders who didn't do a tap during the pandemic, didn't keep this country running. It's it's a money-making scam. What we have is, is it's, it's a huge scam where the government are paying taxpayers' money into the pockets of shareholders, many of them uh, Tory party supporters who inhabit these uh, private companies. And it's not on. And the money's there in the railway industry. There, does, there doesn't need to be any more money put into the railway industry to solve this dispute. All it will need is this money to be, be put towards the workers that are actually doing the job instead of the shareholders who are creaming off the profits. But the, and the government has said, and indeed the, the railway in, industry has said, that they have got to have modernisation. And this seems to be the sticking point. Can you not accept that if you are going to go further into the 21st century, with a, regardless of what you say about where the money may be going, that actually you are going to have to modernise the whole system? And that that is the point at which someone is going to have to compromise? Of course, the system has to be modernised, but what modernisation should mean and what the introduction of new technology should mean is not the loss of jobs. What it should mean is an easier life for the staff up there at the minute, uh, less arduous work, uh, less hours in the working week. That's what new technology should be used for, not to attack workers' rights and conditions, not to keep them on uh, ever decreasing pay scales. It's absolutely appalling, and we're seeing the knock-on effects of these things in the NHS now. We're, we're 130,000 vacancies because the money being paid just can't attract the people. How, I mean, as I said earlier, you you are losing the support of the general public, of the travelling public. How much longer can this go on? Well, I've never known a dispute to be won by the, uh, you know, the goodwill of the general public, to be, to be quite honest. I mean, look at where we are with the nurses. We've got an appalling situation where, once again, union bureaucrats and leaders are trying to sell the nurses down the river. They've got massive public support. Uh, they're trying to sell them down the river for a non-consolidated bonus. I mean, it's it's absolutely shocking. And again, I would uh, I would say to nurses and everyone else in the NHS, reject these this horrible offer. Uh, don't be misled. Don't be sold down the river.
Steve, what I asked you is how much longer you think this can go on? Well, it'll go, it'll go on until the RMT members have a just solution and uh, they've got, I hope, uh, an inflation pay deal. I hope there's no job cuts. Obviously, there, there can be an introduction of new technology without job cuts and uh, cut the, the, the working week. So, really, uh, I hope the RMT members have got the fight and every other union out there, the members have got the fight uh, to keep going, keep pushing this government. There's, some, there's plenty of money there. All they need to do is redistribute it to working class people instead of their friends and their flunkies and the train operating companies and these, these companies that are getting huge tax breaks.